Welcome back to Right on the Money, the go-to resource for your financial decisions. Now, our guest today, again, Pat Jennifer, founder of MyLifeBroker.com. So we've been talking about your practice. And you mentioned something in the last segment that we need to explore, which is the educational course that you're offering, and it's called Simplify Your Retirement. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, Simplify Your Retirement is a very straightforward course on how to prepare yourself Mm-hmm. for the what I call a retirement journey because it's kind of like a vacation right you have to there's costs that need to be captured mm-hmm. and it's kind of like going on a trip that lasts maybe 20 or 30 years right <laughs> so there's a lot of data to capture you have to understand what your needs are going to be both from a, a paycheck standpoint of you know replacing that paycheck and then also some of the discretionary things that you want to do so it's important that you understand the basic principles and I think that's what our course does it really it really gets uh, retirees to a point where they have a plan Mm -hmm. that they can trust. Because today it's very difficult to trust any one advisor. Uh, Mm -hmm. There's a lot of opinions, right? That is one thing that I know that we live in a day and age where there's such access to resources. You can hop on, you can type in retirement and you get a million plus hits. Sure. so there's almost, would you think there's almost too much noise out there if you're retiring? Well, there is. There is there is a lot of what I call white noise out there, whether mm-hmm. it's social media or, you know, the retirement calculator on the website that, you know, everyone has. Yep. But, you know, this is something that no one has ever done before. So when we, when we sit down and talk to somebody about their money in retirement, mm-hmm. again, that, that's a different thing than the accumulation phase. Mm-hmm. So it requires a plan, a specific plan. And what we found is the number one reason people run out of money is because of poor planning, because they haven't looked at the risks. It's interesting that you said that, that it, you know, it's, it's something, retirement is something that the average person has never done, they've never done before. No. But they get to work with someone like you who has helped probably thousands of people retire. We have, but you know, of course, when you meet with a client, they, you know, they kind of feel like you're doing it for the first time as well, right? <laughs> so, but we do have, you know, a great backdrop of experience, and, and we know what works and what doesn't work. Um, and you know, it's it's a question of having some certainty and, and being able to have that level of confidence in your spending in retirement. Because if you don't, you're going to live a what I call just in case retirement. Mm. So you're going to pull back on your spending just in case this happens, just in case somebody you know has a health problem. Sure. Um, and you're not going to take the vacations or or play the golf rounds that you want. So, so it's important to bring all those expenses into you know one window where you can understand these are our needs, and you know we're going to have to sustain this for an indefinite period of time. So, well, let me ask you this: So you've been you've been in the in the business now over 20 plus years. Have you seen what what kind of changes have you seen in maybe the uh, your client's approach to retirement? Have you seen any trends, any thoughts, any the way they're approaching it over the last 20 years? Well, it's, it's gotten different because, of course, after 2008, you know, the landscape mm-hmm. changed a little bit. We're also in the post, as I, what I call the post-trust uh, era, where people really are a little wary of financial advisors. Mm-hmm. Again, because of all the different opinions that you're going to get uh, about your money. Sure. So, you know, what we find is that today people have a lot of concerns about market volatility. Mm-hmm. You know, there, there's geopolitical concerns, right? Sure. Um, there is interest rate concerns because, you know, today, I mean, you can't really save money at a decent rate. Mm-hmm. So people are being asked to take on risk to make four or five percent. And, you know, they're risking it all just to make basically what used to be a bank rate. Yeah. So that's been a big paradigm shift. Now, one of the things that I find fascinating Simplify Your Retirement, it's, a, it's an actual course, right? It is. It's, it's a five and a half hour course that, that I teach um, at the local universities. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's in two parts. And the first part is really identifying the risks. Right. Because again, unlike the days when you were accumulating and getting average returns, you're now, you know, the paycheck this has stopped and you're now looking at, you know, we say don't take a hit, right? That's healthcare, inflation, and taxation. Mm-hmm. So these are big areas of risk that you need to address in your retirement plan, because if you don't, eventually they're going to come home to roost. Yeah. So it, it's very much about risk control, and then that takes a very well-developed plan yeah. in order to address those risks. Now, I heard a rumor about your course, Simplify Retirement. Is it true that there's homework? Well, you know, there is homework that we get, <laughs> but <laughs> tell you the truth, I was never big on homework myself as a kid. but. <laughs> 
Uh, it's really for the benefit of the client. Sure. You know, we have a workbook. We're, we're really big on capturing the data because we think that's an area that's often overlooked. Mm -hmm. There's a tendency of financial advisors to, to want to, you know, close the sale. Um, what we're more intent on is really going slow with the client and enabling them to have their own plan that they can trust. This way they don't have to trust an advisor. Mm -hmm. They have a plan that they understand that they can trust. Because they're participating in it. Yeah, they're actually participating. So the homework is really for them. Right. You know, we have a workbook. Uh, they don't have to share it with us. They can if they'd like, but it's, it's for them so they have an, a course outline mm -hmm and a very specific plan that they can implement. With the workbook and, and attending this course, this is probably the first time that a lot of these folks have really put a plan together, took a good hard look at where they're at and where they're going. Is that a fair statement? It is, yeah, because you know a lot of folks don't have a plan. They think they have a plan, right? So mm -hmm. we, you know, we always go through at some point and show them, well, you know, what isn't a plan? And a lot of people are relying on hope. Right, so they yeah. hope things will get, keep going well, and because today, you know, currently their four hundred one ks are doing well and performing well. Yeah, we're taught to you not not fix it if it's not broken, right? Mm -hmm. But what we find is that they really don't have a plan at the end of the day. You know, your four hundred one k is not a plan. Right. Um, you know, a pension or an insurance product like an annuity is not a plan in and of itself. But all these things brought together to work in unison, that's a plan along with you know your objectives and your goals in retirement. It all starts with your goals. We've got to take a break. Sure. We are going to come back. So after the break, we've got more with Pat. We're going to dive into, I'm curious to hear more about the course, what happens in week one, week two. Uh, so that's coming up on Right on the Money. We look forward to seeing you on the other side of the break. Mm -hmm.